Hey everyone, it's Talia here. Welcome to a planner video on this channel and you're probably like, what the heck Talia? We haven't seen a planner video from you in so freaking long with good reason. I have like definitely fallen out of the planner game, but still feel like my life is just so disorganized that I, I constantly feel like I need something to help me organize things. But any of the planners that I've looked at or considered bringing in or using, like they just don't appeal to me. Like, like the layouts are just not working for the way my life is right now. So for example, I have a hard time planning horizontally because my, my day, when I think of my day, I think of it vertically. However, all of the planners that I've looked at for vertical thinking, they're either divided into like three categories or if some of the ones I've looked at that are all lined, it just doesn't make sense. Like how do you break it down into to do or times? And then I started thinking okay, maybe an hourly is the way to go. So I actually got an hourly recollections to try out and I, I didn't like that planning. And then I realized I didn't like sticker planning. Like it was this whole big thing, you guys. Like I didn't give up on planning because I don't like it or because I don't need it. I gave up on it because it just was not working for me. But I do find that I have so much in my brain and so much going on in my life that I am constantly forgetting things. So it, I did need to find a solution. I'm filming this at night after Rose went to bed. So I'm like, yeah, you know what girl, you're having some wine. So then I saw the Kit Life Planner on Samantha Happily Housewife's channel. She does some pretty good planner reviews, planner videos, and I, I really appreciate the way that she plans because she plans more practical. Not She does use stickers quite a bit too, but not the way I was using stickers where it was like decorative sticker planning. Like she definitely is more of a practical planner in my personal opinion. Anyway, she did a review on the Kit Life Planner and as soon as I th saw the layout, I was like, you know what? I think that would work for me. I went to the website, I kind of looked at them and I hummed and hawed and I'm you know what, Talia, you're not into planning lately, just just don't, like don't even worry about it. I could not stop thinking about this planner though. <laughs> I 100% could not stop thinking about this planner and so when Kit Life had a Black Friday sale, it was, I just bit the bullet and I got it and I was so pumped, I could not wait for it to come in. So this planner from Kit Life is a daily planner. Something I have never done before. I've done weekly planning and that is it. The main thing that drew me to this was the layout. You guys are probably like, okay, Talia, like be quiet. Show me what you're talking about. <laughs> a couple of things that I do, I want to do before we jump into the actual layout is I do kind of want to compare it to an EC, but the only EC that I have, because the rest of my old planners are all packed up for the move. Um, so the only one I have is actually my pregnancy planner, <laughs> which I just used a horizontal planner for it. So let us compare. So for the size, the EC planner is definitely taller. It is also more narrow than the Kit Life planner. So if that gives you guys kind of an idea of how big it is. Now I can't really show you this way because my pregnancy planner, I took all of the dates out that didn't apply. So the, this is nine months of planning with um, stickers and embellishments and decorate decorations. Even if you don't like compare it to my pregnancy planner, it is like thicker. I can definitely tell that it's thicker. The coils, I don't think are quite as sturdy as EC. I just, I feel like the coils on EC are a little bit thicker than the Kit Life planners. To me, that's not a big deal because I will just use my planner at home. I more than likely will not be traveling with this. Okay, another thing is this is not the cover that came with the Kit Life planner. This is actually the one that came with it. And I just put in the cover that I had ordered extra on top of it. So when you open the Kit Life planner, it has this plastic film on it, which I like. It protects your cover because your covers are definitely not laminated or as thick as the Erin Condren ones. I'm just gonna compare Erin Condren. I feel like that's what most people know or most people have or most people can relate to. So it's nice that they have the plastic cover on top of it. I don't mind that this isn't laminated very much. Like there is a lamination on it, but it's not very thick. I don't, I don't mind that at all. The, the planner that I bought is interchangeable, but the one that came on the planner isn't interchangeable. So if I want this off, I'm just gonna have to like rip it off, I guess, which I very well might do in all honesty. Then when you jump into the planner, there is this cellophane type of insert here. And then we jump into their philosophy, a little bit of wording on the planner. So it says, which you guys, you guys can probably read it, but I am gonna read it because I, I feel like this is kind of interesting. Do more, be more, give more. Life is more than a to-do list. We've crafted our Kit Life Planner to encourage productivity, gratitude, wellness, and goal setting, as we feel these are all pillars of a balanced life. 
I definitely feel like this is a productivity type of planner. Okay, then we jump into our 2018-2019 year at a glance. Next page is an occasions to celebrate. This is kind of cool. You can add your birthdays. You can add different special occasions. I do like that. Paper quality is definitely thinner than EC's. It's got like a really smooth type of finish to it though. For me personally, paper quality is not a huge deal in all honesty, you guys. One thing that I do like is this quarterly check-in that begins at each quarter. Uh, there's room for your New Year's resolutions, what I'm loving, what I'm grateful for, some goals that you wanna set for ahead. There's also a personal inventory, so weight, body fat, sleep, overall health, activity levels, do my clothes fit. That's kind of interesting if you keep up with that sort of stuff. Uh, reading list, excited to experience some upcoming things that might be coming. You could easily, if you wanted to, make some little stickers, cover these headings up and make this totally personalized. But at the same time, if you want something that keeps you on track and is already labeled for you, that's one of the things I really liked about the Kit Life Planner is how everything is already labeled. We do have a note section right at the beginning, which is great. I use my note sections all the time. Your tabs are this cellophane again. And then this is really interesting. Like I just feel like these planners are super motivating. They have self-care suggestions that relate directly to the upcoming month. Um, icing on the cake, they talk about some things that are coming up. For instance, this is taxes. Um, they give you a tip for entrepreneurs. Best time to buy. That's kind of interesting. This talks about gift cards for January. I never knew that. Feel the love. Talks about essential oils some different holidays that are upcoming, and then there's a snail mail challenge as well. Then we jump into our monthly spread. There's a not very much room to write on the side. The only thing I'm interested in keeping track of on my monthly spread though, for the most part, because I, I hardly use monthly spreads, is uh, my social media stats is kind of what I'm interested in tracking. My husband and I actually have a calendar that's all monthly on our fridge, and I use that all the time. So I'm probably gonna correspond the dates from that into this and use my monthly planner as well. Okay, then we get into like the meat and potatoes of this planner. This is the daily planner, you guys. I am so pumped for this layout, it's not even funny. When I tried out my hourly from recollections, my idea behind that was, is that the vertical layouts that were divided into three different categories were kind of hard to keep track of like appointments that were at like 9 a.m. or 3 p.m. and then throw in a to-do list and then throw in things that needed to be done for my social media. Like it was kind of hard to lay it out. So then I went to try an hourly from recollections and I was finding if I had something at 3 p.m. and I needed a to-do list, do I put my to-do list in the morning? Do I put it in the evening? What if I have supper at six instead of four? I just found it too difficult to like lay out different events that were going on in an hourly. So that's where this planner like really grabbed me. At the top here, it's all to-do list, to-do list, to-do list. Uh, for me personally, I can probably break this up into personal and work. And then we get into a little hourly category on the side here. So this is where I can write down my doctor's appointments or if I have a client coming in. It's not as precise as say an hourly that divides it into every 15 minutes. But if I had a client at 5.30, I could easily write 5.30 here. And I don't have to keep track of like, you know, from 5.30 to 6, I'm doing this. And from 6 to 7, I'm doing this. This is just for appointments for me, which in my mind works really well. This category is the big three then wellness, and then gratitude. I don't know if I will actually use these specific categories, but I can easily change this. Like I could do meal planning, I could do a shopping list, I could do workout if I ever decide to go back to the gym, uh, social media posts, I could have you know my Instagram, my Facebook, my YouTube, and check off what I'm doing for that each day. I just think that it's, it's so functional, but at the same time you can customize it if you want. One of the things I wanted to get away from with planning in 2018 is the use of stickers. And you guys are probably like, what the heck girl, like you love your stickers. Yes, I do. But at the same time, I find that when I use stickers, it has to look pretty and it just, it's so hard if like your plans change and then you have to put a cancel banner and like, what if I can't go get my stickers cause they're upstairs and I'm downstairs. Like I just, I just can't. I cannot with the way my life is going and how busy things are, I cannot deal with sticker planning right now. Not to say that I won't use stickers in this planner every now and again. I'm sure that I'll throw some in and probably get back into sticker planning a little bit, but I want this planner to be a pen planner. That is my main purpose in it. If we have something that's coming up in the middle of January, I don't have to put a little sticky note telling me that something's coming up. I can just 
throw it in with my pen. Use the same pen all the time. Don't worry about decorating, just worry about the functionality of this planner. That is what I'm so excited about. So, so excited about is a planner that's just like functional. Sorry you guys, this is like a rambly video, but I just wanted to explain my thought process on picking up this planner. Okay, so January 1st starts on Monday. So then we have our Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Then we get to the weekend. So the weekend, which this I don't overly love, but at the same time, I can see the function behind it. So your Saturday and Sunday are on the same page. Generally, I don't have too much going on on Saturdays and Sundays, but every now and again, I do take clients on Saturdays and Sundays and they, they might have a specific time or we might have an appointment that we have to do on a Saturday and Sunday. For the most part, my weekends are pretty flexible though. I, I will definitely be able to make this work, but I do like the full layout of the daily planner on this side much better than the weekend planner. But one thing that I do really like for the weekend planner is this week ahead especially if you are somebody who wants to throw in some stickers and decorate for your next week you can use this the way that you would some of those notepads where you plan for the week coming up ahead i honestly would probably use this for meal planning for the week ahead and then that way i can make my shopping list for sunday but there's so many possibilities for what you can do with this little section for sure okay so then we jump to the end of the month there is no note page in between this month so there was just a note page at the beginning which I do really like the note page at the beginning, especially for goal setting or events that are coming up for the next month. So I would have liked to have seen a note section here, but that's okay. Um, February is pink, same type of thing. Self-care suggestions, icing on the cake, different times to buy, feel the love, celebrate and educate. Like there's some really good information in this planner. There's also a whole bunch of like really cute quotes at the bottom of every single page here. So that's kind of cool, especially if you were like a quote person. There's just a whole bunch of like, little notes to just keep you motivated and using this planner okay so there is kind of a note section at the end of the february one just because of how the dates fall is how what i would imagine then we jump to march which is green we have a doodle break at the end of march and then we have our quarterly check-in so again the same things that were at the quarterly check-in at the beginning of january so that's kind of cool keeps you on track for your goals another doodle break April is yellow, orangish type of color. No note section at the end of April. We jump to the end of May, which is purple. No note section at the end of that. June is blue. Then we have a quarterly check-in and again, a doodle break. I could do without this doodle break in all honesty. I'm not a coloring book type of girl. I was into it for like a week and ended up selling all my coloring books because I just never did it. I can definitely use the note section, but I definitely could have done without that. I'm sure it'll appeal to a lot of people out there though. Okay, July is yellow. Again, we have our doodle break. August is pink. No doodle break. September, we have our quarterly check-in again. I just want to show you guys all the different colors is kind of what I'm getting at here. And then at the end of October, this is something that's really cool. So you have your doodle break and then you jump in to your gift list. This is awesome for pre-planning for December, especially because we have Black Friday. We have a lot of really cool deals coming up in November. So you can definitely start planning your gift list for Christmas early. Love that. I love that so much because when it comes to Christmas, I am the most disorganized person. Next year we'll be in the new house, hopefully hosting family dinners and all that. And I really hope to be able to better utilize a planner for Christmas planning next year. I'm just not on my game this year. Again, doodle break at the back. December is this really pretty blue. Then we jump again to our doodle break. And this is an extra category. So I added a note section in the back of this because I used to use my note section in the back of my EC all the time. So I knew that I wanted a note section, but this is something that you had to add extra. So there is a bunch of different note pages back here for me to utilize however I need to. And then we're done. So the cover that I had ordered, you actually only get the front cover. This is the cover that I ordered. And like I said, you only get the front cover. So your back, looks like this. Now your back is that same type of flimsy material. There's no hard plastic to kind of protect it. So if I were you and traveling with this planner, which would be kind of heavy because it is like a huge planner, um, I would definitely suggest getting some sort of carrying case or whatnot to be able to carry your planner just so you don't muck it up or anything. But for me being at home, I don't, I don't need anything like that. Also in my package was this Kit Life little folder. So it has a little pocket here and the way that you attach it to your planner is like that. 
that's kind of cool you could definitely I don't know I'm not sure if I'll use that in all honesty because I thought maybe I would use it to break up the day so if I'm on January 1st I could put it there and then it would be a clip quick flip to it but I don't particularly like that it hangs over the edge here just like my semi OCD I don't really like that so I'm not sure if I'll use this pocket but I very well might find use for it now the pen that I have full intentions of using in this planner is my pilot G taxi 4 pen if you guys used to be around for my planner videos back in the day you will know this is my favorite hands down pen of life I don't want to use color pens in this book I want to just use black I want to make it streamlined I want to make it functional. I'm so excited to do that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review of this. You guys have no idea how excited I am to have a planner that I feel like will really function for me. When I saw Samantha's review on this planner, I like jumped for joy because I was like, that seems like exactly what I need, exactly what I'm looking for in a planner. So have you guys heard of the Kit Life planners? Have you guys used one? Have you guys ordered it? Have you seen these before? Super curious your thoughts and opinions on this planner. Um, don't get too excited my fellow planner people because I more than likely will not be doing planner videos I have one video that I want to do on my review on the recollections pregnancy planner and that's probably it for planner videos but if you keep up with my vlogs I will definitely be updating you in my vlogs starting in the new year what I think of this planner the nice thing about this planner is I can start using this now even though it doesn't function for me because it doesn't start until January we have so much going on in January it's not even funny so I can definitely start utilizing this planner now so so excited anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video <laughs> and I will see you in my next one make sure you catch my vlogs because they're interesting and fun I think anyway bye guys